Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Obasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So I have literally just finished filming this makeup look for you guys. And since we already have a bit face, we are just going to go ahead and hit two buds with one stone and film another video. So I want to show you guys how I wash my synthetic wigs. And this is the wig that I am going to be using and I have been getting so many questions about this wig right here but I already have an entire video you guys an entire dedicated video with the details of this wig um, the video is called most affordable hair ever so it's synthetic hair I got it from River Road I will leave the phone number of the lady down below in the description but if you want to get yourself one you can feel free and call her so this is actually the cheapest hair I own and I love it the most I think it's just the haircut so if I'm to get another wig I'll probably cut it to look like this one so that I can have one that's better quality but for now I think this is my most favorite wig it has the elastic at the back is a bit different compared to the elastics that I'm used to it's almost like a bra strap sort of elastic I don't know if you can see it looks like that you're not supposed to hook them like this together but this is how i usually do it it has like um sections at the back you're supposed to hook them in like in here and it also has this um what is it called hooks like hair clips that look like this so you can be able to secure your wig further so pros and cons of this hair is that it's really affordable and it looks pretty and it doesn't actually shed as much but the cons as i mentioned in that other video is the lace i don't know if you can see the frontal for the wig but it's not real lace so it's really hard like it's a very very hard material so sometimes it can irritate your skin so i usually put it over my wig cap i make sure that a lot of this lace has my wig cap under it because otherwise by the end of the day i usually feel really irritated by it but other than that it's good hair and i've had it for a really long time and i'm yet to wash it and because i think i'm going to wait a few more times it is about time i wash it and revive it a bit because it's starting to get tangled at the bottom so I don't know if you guys know this but you can't treat synthetic hair the same way that you treat human hair it won't respond to for example conditioner and oil the same way because it will just sit on top of the hair so one little trick that I've picked up is that in the place of conditioner you want to use fabric softener fabric softener works like conditioner for synthetic hair so the one that I have here is by Gentle Care. It's just a random fabric softener that I found in the house. And you can honestly also use, um, what is that called? Detergent, you know, Kina Omo, Ariel as your shampoo. But for me, I don't really want to go around smelling like Omo or Ariel. So to clean it, I'm going to use uh, the shampoo. And the good thing about this is you don't really have to do this in separate uh separate steps just as i'm going to show you guys because i'm going to fill my sink with hot water and then put both of this at the same time and then leave my wig to soak in there so we're going to move on to the bathroom and i'm going to show you the entire process so we are now in the bathroom and that is why there is a bit of an echo and i've just discovered that this sink can't plug so if I pour this water, it will go right in. So just because I've already set up my camera and everything, we're just going to use this Sufuria for now. So what I'm going to do is take my shampoo. The shampoo that I am using is this one, just in case you're curious. It's the Miyadi for Kids one. I had it already, so that's why I'm using it. I'm going to put a generous amount. And then I'm going to go ahead into the same water and add my fabric softener. And this is the brand of the softener and I'm going to add also a generous amount of this as well into the hot water. This is hot water by the way guys, I don't know if I've mentioned it. I'm just going to pour the fabric softener in there and then I'm going to use my comb just to mix it up nicely. 
So the fabric softener is going to act as our conditioner. And then I'm just going to soak the hair inside this mixture and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to come in and comb through the hair and then rinse it out. So it has been about 15 minutes and the entire bathroom smells so so nice. You don't want to leave your hair for too long because it will become stiff. So now I want to go ahead and try and comb through my hair. So I don't know if you guys can see but the hair is getting combed really really easily like the ends have really softened and there's such a big difference between how the comb was going through and now and also the hair hasn't become so stiff which is something that is always a risk when you're doing this but yeah i think it's now clean for most of the part and you can see that the water is actually dirty so the hair also really needed this so i'm just going to clean off the water so now I'm going to go ahead and use cold water from the tap just so that I can remove some of the fabric softener and shampoo off of the hair. Wish me well. So this is how the hair ends up looking when it is still wet and we have lost one, two, three, four, five, five strands during this whole wash process so that is not too bad so what i like to do is wring off excess water first and then i turn this inside out just so that i can make sure that the inside will also dry i'm going to hook this part back in and then i take my hammer And I pass it in through the hooks like this. So I will just, you know, can you see it? Actually, no, right here. Yeah, so this is my hanger. And I've hooked the elastic to come out. Put it back in. Yeah, so I'll just put this elastic part through this part of the hanger. And I'm going to take it outside so that it can air dry. If you are in a hurry, you can also use a blow dry, but on very, very cool heat because it is synthetic hair. So this is about four hours later and the hair is about 90% dry. Uh, the inside where the wig cap is, it's not really dry yet but i wanted to take it out and show you guys how it looks and that the hair is not destroyed as you can see it actually even looks as if i reflat ironed the hair especially like at the front you can see how much body and movement has been brought back into the hair i actually think it even looks more natural than it did before so i'm going to just take it back outside so that it can fully dry but yeah that's the end result and i actually really really like it i think it looks way better than it did before so that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every monday and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys <laughs>